the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good evening. And welcome to all my brothers and sisters from all around the world. I just want to thank you and I just want to tell you that I appreciate you. I appreciate you being here studying the Word of God with me. I want to pray that the Lord would continuously and richly increase you, give you favor and many blessings in everything that you do according to His will and according to His Word. Father, I pray that you will give us the anointing that we need to move forward. Like with this fresh anointing, it will open up our spiritual eyes, mind, it will heal our body in Jesus Christ's name, I pray, amen. And today I have a fresh and new biblical study and it's going to be from the book of Romans chapter 7. And in this book of Romans, we're going to be learning about what brother Paul taught us the word of God about we should be dead to sin. See, we must die to sin. We must mortify our bodies to sin. The things we used to do, we don't do them no more. The things we used to say, we don't say them no more. The places we used to go, we don't visit and go around those places. The, the people we used to communicate with and hang out with, we don't go around those people and those strange places anymore because we are born again. So we got to be, that part of us is dead. That sinfulness is dead. Amen. We will start in this New Testament, Romans chapter 7, verse 1. Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law. Hold that the law had dominion over a man as long as he lived. And that's what the law did. For the woman which had an husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he liveth. But if the husband be dead, she is loose from the law of her husband. Mm. So then if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from the law. So that she is no adulteresses, though she be married to another man. Amen? And this is symbolic of the law. That's what the law taught. And they live by the law to this day. The law is good. The commandments are good because it makes us know our error that we are living in sin. The commandments let us teach us that we are living in sin. For, wherefore, my brethren, ye also are become dead to the law by the body of Christ, that you, we, should be married to another, even to him who is raised from the dead, that we should bring forth fruit unto God. Amen. So what brother Paul is teaching us here is not like the law is abolished, but by through the blood of Jesus, his death, his burial, and his resurrection, he was raised from the dead. If we fall short, we can come and say, Abba Father, forgive us in the name of Jesus. But before the death of Christ, we was bound to that law. We had to take two turtle doves and people was just sinning and did not know they were sinning. Because there was influence by the enemy and the children of the fallen angel. Everything goes. 
So the law is good. The law keep us in check where we will know what is right from wrong, what is good from evil, what is holy from unholy, who is sanctified and who is not who is who is mundane, what is clean and what is filth, what is right and what is wrong. So the law is good. Because Jesus did not come to destroy the law, but he came to fulfill the law for us to be engrafted and attain to eternal life. Amen. Verse 5. For when we were in the flesh, you know, in the world, the motions of sins, which were by the law, did work in our members to bring forth fruit unto death so when people was out there when all of us was out there we was doing things just to gratify our flesh we was living the world life we did not understand what was salvation what was sanctification what was holiness we did not comprehend the law but in part we was against the law because the law brought us into remembrance of our wrongdoing and our sinfulness and our sinful lifestyle verse 6 but now we are delivered from the law see we're not bound to the law because of Jesus and it doesn't give us insurance to go out and sin because you will pay for your sin the day you sin, you shall surely die. But now we are delivered from the law that being dead wherein we were hell, that we shall serve in newness of spirit and not in the oldness of the letter. Amen. It's not a do, don't, do, don't, like in your mind, and people still were sinning because the law was not enough that's why jesus came in the flesh not to destroy the law but to fulfill it because those commandments are still standing to today thou shalt not commit murder thou shalt not commit adultery the law is good amen seven what shall we say then is the law sin God forbid. No. Nay. I had not known sin but by the law. See, the law will let you know that you're sinning like you are in error. The law will let you know that you're living in darkness, that you're living a, a wild life. The law will bring you back into your senses. When you hear the commandments, honor your father and your mother so that days may be long on this earth. Then you realize that you, you have done error. Verse 7 to continue. For I had not known loss, except the law has said it. Thou shalt not covet. See, if, if a person is full of loss, and they don't know that the law says you should loss and covet your neighbor's wife, or the, you would not know about loss. You would not know about adultery and fornication. It is written in the law that if you do these things, you have broken the law. And the day you sin, it makes you know that you're sinning, you shall die. Amen? Verse 8. But sin, taking occasion by the commandment, wrought me in all manner of conspicuences for without the law sin was dead you see without the law people was just doing anything they did not know they were sinning till the law came and let us know that this is a sin that we are committing that we must change our evil wicked ways or we're going down to h-e-l-l hell fire nine for I was alive without the law once. 
But when the commandment came, sin revive and I die. See, you have to die to sin. That's why the things we used to do, we don't do them no more. The friends and the frenemies we used to hang out with, we don't hang out with them no more. The things we used to say, cuss words and gossip and all that, we don't do that no more. We repented. So we have a clean say. But that is was alive. I was alive without the law. But now when the commandment come to memory, because the law will bring that commandment back into your, into your spirit. You know then that you sin. But you have to die to that sin. Me, it got to break off for you. And that's what the law does. For I was alive without the law once. Verse 10. And the commandment which was ordained to life. Listen. The commandment, the law gives us eternal life. The commandment which was ordained to life, I found to be unto death. How that the commandment that you found to give us life, you find it to be unto death. Because that commandment, if we follow it, it will give us eternal life. But if we sin against God commandments, we sin against God, we sin against our own soul. Because the day you sin, you shall surely die. So we fall short. There is nobody can throw stones. We got a lot of stone throwers out there. But nobody can throw stones. Because even the, the, the spiritual leaders, they fall short because they do not want to acknowledge that they're bound by the law and they must die to this sin. You have to die to sin. And it's not easy. That's why God Almighty sent Jesus Christ to be born in the flesh and blood like us to show us the way and that we can come to him in the name of Jesus and ask for forgiveness because nobody's scot free nobody can say well I don't live in sin yes you do live in sin we all do have evil thoughts or something we do slip and slide and something slip out your mouth or something slip through your head yes you do we all do but we ask for forgiveness quickly 11 for sin taken occasion by the commandment deceive me and by this it slew me so when sin come in, when we was in the world, we were living in sin or a sin come in through anywhere. That's why we're not supposed to affiliate or affiliate too close with people who are worldly. You have to separate yourself sometimes from these unbelievers. They will make you sin. They will make you fall short. You start acting like that. Then demons will jump on you. So for sin taken occasion by the commandment deceive me. And it by it, it slew me. Wherefore the law is holy. And the commandment is holy. And just and good. All of God's commandments are holy. And the commandment is holy. And just and good. And we thank our father for that. Because without the law and without the commandments, it will be chaos. Thou shall not kill. Really, thou shall not commit murder. Thou shall not steal. Even to this day, in certain regions, if you steal, they chop off your hand. You lose a hand. You do it again, you lose a foot. They chop off one foot. They chop off one hand because you're, you're, you're a robber. Or they hang you. Or they throw a tire over you and throw gasoline. Or they, or they kill you because your father stole from somebody. They go after the children. They go after the, 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 the robbers, their mother. They grab the mother and the father, the parents, and lock them up in jail. 
So people have different type of practices. Because they do not know the law of God and the commandments. So once they learn the law of God and the commandments of God. Then they can change. Then their belief that's breaking off for them. And they will understand that they're wrongdoing. But if you're sinning and you don't know that you're doing wrong. And you're going down straight down to hellfire. You're walking straight into hell. And somebody's telling you, hello, wait, stop, turn away. 13 to close out. What's then that which is good made death unto me? God forbid, but sin that it may might appear sin working death in me by that which is good that sin by the commandment might become exceedingly sinful so if you don't know you're sinning and you're going down that path of destruction is a self-destruction and they go on not only self-destructing themselves but they destroy other people's lives they go out there and they do whatever they want they say whatever they want rape kill steal destroy and they don't care and this is the end of part one we have to die to sin my name is dr pj from the prophetic word thank you for participating this evening May the Lord richly bless you in everything that you do according to his will and his word. I defeat you, Satan, in the name.